Hey, what's up guys, Josh here from Tech. And with the rise of different smartphones and smartphone brands, companies like Techno have been launching devices that have been able to rival big brands sheerly for their price to performance ratio. Around a month ago, we checked out Techno's very own Pova 2. But in this video, we'll be talking about their latest operating system, which is iOS 7.6 powered by Android 11. And what better way to show this to you guys than by using Techno's first flagship smartphone, the Phantom X. So in case you have a Techno that's capable of the update, or just simply curious about what the Phantom X with iOS 7.6 has to offer, stick around to find out more. Alright, so before we get into everything, we know you guys are equally as curious about this smartphone. So why don't we check out what's inside? As you can see, it's not your typical packaging as it does come in this sleek black box with nothing but the Phantom X logo right in the middle. Once you lift up the lid, you'll be greeted with this lovely message at the top. Underneath that is where you'll find the phone itself, and second is this really nice case that looks and feels like vegan leather. This is a sight for sore eyes compared to the standard clear jelly case and is surely something we didn't expect to see. So kudos to Techno for that. Below that are three more boxes that house some of the usual accessories. The first box includes your power brake with up to 33 watt charging. The second, a USB Type-C cable along with a fresh pair of earphones on the other side. And finally, the last box contains the SIM ejector tool and a warranty card which you'd probably want to keep somewhere safe. Now, Techno did a really good job when it comes to the overall design of the device itself. It does appear slightly unique compared to a lot of other smartphones due to the large rectangular camera module that's mounted on the center. Our unit comes in the Iceland blue color configuration which has a nice metallic looking finish that adds to its premium looks. It also has these subtle looking ridges that actually feel quite nice as well. It has these rounded edges that aren't just easy on the eyes, but make it more comfortable to hold in your hand as well. It's also a pretty massive phone, with a generous screen size of 6.7 inches. It uses a full HD Plus 3D curved OLED panel with a refresh rate of a smooth 90Hz, has double the touch sampling rate at 180Hz, and is all protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Powering this unit is a MediaTek Helio G95 CPU alongside a Mali G76MC4 GPU with a single configuration of 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. When it comes to performance, the G95 processor has been proven to be able to take on the many different tasks you plan to throw at it, be it for daily use or even for heavy gaming. It also has liquid cooling. And although it's definitely not the fastest one out there, the user experience is still quite comparable to a lot of other leading chipsets. And finally, keeping the phone powered is a 4,700 mAh capacity battery with 33 watts flash charge support. As for the cameras, the Techno Phantom X incorporates a triple camera setup, with a 50 megapixel primary shooter, a 13 megapixel telephoto lens, and an 8 megapixel ultra wide shooter. While over at the front is a dual selfie camera with a 48 megapixel main and another 8 megapixels for ultra wide. We appreciate how Techno decided to do away with the macro lens in exchange for the telephoto camera since this is arguably an important component when it comes to making a flagship smartphone. You even get extra features like golden angle and night mode which further help elevate your mobile photography experience. Check out the rest of these detailed sample shots that we took. Alright, so now that we know what we're working with here, let's go ahead and check out the software side of things. Now, as mentioned, the Phantom X is powered by Android 11 with the latest iOS 7.6 skinned on top. And we did come up with a quick rundown of some of our top features, so we'll be breaking each one of them down for you. The first thing you'll notice about iOS 7.6 is the refreshed UI and design. It uses a soothing Cosmos blue tone that gives off a rather relaxing aesthetic. It's a drawer-style launcher that has an updated icon design, 
featuring rounded squares that are more pleasing to the user's eyes. Apart from being highly customizable, it's also pretty clean, with a more balanced visual experience letting key content stand out and give this minimalistic vibe. We like the fact that everything we tried was nothing short of a smooth and buttery experience. Most of the essentials are within reach, and to be honest, it does look pretty good if I do say so myself. Another cool feature of HiOS 7.6 are the chat bubbles. Remember Facebook's messenger bubbles? Well, it kind of works like that. When you get a text message or anything of the like, you can now turn those notifications into chat bubbles that similarly float on the forefront of your screen. So it doesn't really matter where you are and what you're doing since chat bubbles ensure you always have easy access to that conversation. That way, there is no need for you to leave your current app to respond to a message. Just simply tap on the bubble and you should be good to go. Number three on our feature list is the phone clone app. Now, with every upgrade or change of a phone, I'm sure you've dealt with the daunting task of transferring your data from one device to another. Maybe you rely on a third-party app, or maybe you just do it completely old school by painstakingly copying and pasting your files one by one. Thankfully, HiOS 7.6 makes it very convenient to migrate pretty much everything. It's able to transfer your contacts, photos, videos, SMS, call logs, and more to your new techno phone seamlessly. And yes, you can still use this even if you're coming from a non-techno Android phone, unlike some dedicated migration apps that require you to have the same device brand. So with that, no more headaches trying to figure out how to move your files from your old phone to a new one. Neat. Fourth on our list is going out to those who fancy their privacy, especially in public. Now, if you like to keep your phone from the prying eyes of others, HiOS 7.6 comes with some pretty nifty peak-proof features. It enables you to protect your screen information by providing an adjustable darkened screen where only a highlighted portion of the screen is visible, particularly the things that you're planning to read. So unless someone's creepily watching from over your shoulder, you're pretty much secure from everyone else. Not that I'm trying to hide anything. Last but not least, HiOS 7.6 also comes with a new video assistant feature too. It's basically a side panel that lets you get easy access to different utilities, from WhatsApp and Chrome to tools such as screen record, screenshot message, do not disturb functions, and a lot more. But I'm sure this feature is nothing new to some of you out there. What makes this feature stand out to some though is in its background play capabilities that's highlighted by the ear icon on the side panel. This tool does exactly what you think it does. As soon as you press this feature, the screen switches off but continues to play audio. This is extremely convenient, especially if you don't necessarily need to watch the video or if you're simply looking for a deceptive way to have YouTube Premium without paying for a monthly subscription, because that's probably what I would do. And there we go. Those are the top features of HiOS 7.6. To be honest, I think we've only scratched the surface as there are still some tricks up this interface's sleeve that we haven't even touched on yet. But what's clear here is that it does boast a few features that stock Android 11 doesn't have. And now that it's in its seventh generation, it's clear that a lot has happened since its first release. HiOS 7.6 comes with a plethora of features that could be well handy to many, from setting up your phone all the way to optimizing your user experience. But what do you guys think? Is HiOS something you're looking forward to? Stay tuned as we might have an upcoming review of the Techno Phantom X as well. But until then, let us know in the comment section down below your opinions. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you guys don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugitech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Josh, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.